Today we're taking a look at this brand new um, Slim wallet I picked up from Amazon. I was recently in a big box store. And they wanted over $30 for a Slim wallet that wasn't even nearly as slim as this is. Um, so I went on Amazon, I found this, um, and after testing it, I was very impressed. Now I'm gonna link to this on Amazon. If you wanna learn about pricing, check it out down there on, through the Amazon link. Make sure not to use the suggested or YouTube links because sometimes they don't recommend the same product I review. Actually click on the Amazon link in my show notes. It also helps my, um, my family stay going. But I've been playing around with this a little while, took it out, I'm very pleased with it. With um, it becoming very hard to find just a regular pair of jeans that are either uh, are not relaxed or not skinny, um, increasingly you're finding a lot of skinny jeans being the popular thing. And you don't always want a big fat wallet in your back pocket if you're wearing a pair of skinny jeans or dress pants. And that's where I think this will work out really well. It's slim enough that it would easily fit in your front pocket or a breast pocket of a um, sports jacket. Um, it does have three back credit card holders here, two in the front with a kind of driver's license one there. Um, it also includes a pouch at the top for cash. So you can still throw in some cash there. And then a little second pouch, which could be used for cash, probably better for like receipts or little notes or maybe your um, hotel key card. Um, I was impressed now. I'm not gonna show you my wallet. Nice try, no driver's license or credit cards being on this video, but I did play around with it. It does hold the credit cards and debit cards and all that snugly, but not so much so that you feel like you have to rip it out. Sometimes you get these skinny wallets. When I was looking at the um, one in the big box store, it was so tight, I felt like I couldn't get my debit card back out when I put it in. This one um, feels secure, like it's not gonna just easily fall out. At the same time, I don't feel like I need a, uh, a pair of pliers to get my cards back, especially out of the licensed clear pouch at the front. This also includes a little push tab here for the top one. So you put your top credit card there. There's a push tab here so you can slide up to help get that out. Don't think that's really needed, but a cool feature. Um, of course, the thicker, um, the thickness of this depends on how many items you put in it. Now, driver's license, credit card, debit card, maybe a hotel key card or one or two other things, a little bit of cash just in case. Um, and this would stay very skinny easily for a back pocket. Um, if you would fully load this with all five debit cards, it does thicken up a little bit, not nearly as much as my tri-fold or single-fold um, wallets that are pretty common. For a skinny wallet, this is really great. I'm not sure this would be my everyday wallet. I still probably use my big thick one for just day-to-day -day use, but going out for a date night, being in my suit, you know, dress pants, skinny jeans, whatever, this is probably a wallet I, I would pick. This would be the ones I purchased to test them out. I think I'm gonna go with this one just because it's a good balance. There are skinnier skinny wallets out there. There's also a lot thicker skinnier wallets. This one seems to have a good balance between offering all the features I want with a money pouch, an extra little like receipt pouch on the front and back. So there's three little pouches at the top. So let's see if I can get it. So one big one, then two small ones each side, and then five card holders. So you can put a lot in here. Um, sometimes when I go out with my wife, she doesn't want to carry her um, ID on her because she doesn't have pockets, doesn't want to have a purse. So I'll throw her ID, maybe her debit card in here too. So you can easily have, you know, five cards in here without problems with it. So I'm gonna put a link to this on Amazon. Again, be careful, Amazon or YouTube, excuse me, now puts links to products across the bottom of these videos. They're not always actually the product I review. If you wanna actually see the product I'm reviewing here, you like this, you wanna read more about it, in the show notes, there's a link to Amazon. What about pricing? A lot of people say, Luke, why don't you say what the price is? Uh, because that changes every day. Uh, actually, since I bought this, because I got this on a prime deal, um, I was able to get it cheaper. What you're gonna to pay today could be different. So check that link to Amazon to make sure you get the most recent pricing on it too. Questions, comments, let me know. Hit that thumbs up, it really is a huge help for you. But I'll give this wallet two thumbs up. Very good build quality, very good um, options, and a good balance between a super slim wallet and one that still has a good amount of storage. Thanks for watching, I really appreciate it.